Hello friends! Welcome back to another watercolor tutorial. We are doing something a little bit different because Julia needs a change from the same old, same old. Don't get me wrong, I like painting all the things I paint. Or rather, I like the result. But I just thought it would be fun to change things up. I saw this photo by De Winton Paper Co. And I thought, why not change things up by doing something I've never done on this channel before? So I am just, I took some regular envelopes that I have. This, this is not watercolor paper at all. So this is totally doable with whatever paper you have laying around or whatever envelope that you have. But I thought it would be fun to style an envelope, like the, the flap part of an envelope. Um, if you want to send something creative to a friend like part of the fun of receiving an envelope or a card for me is the decorations on the envelope itself um like for my baby shower this past well when you guys see this it'll be last year but um one of my cousins decorated the envelope and I kept the envelope because I liked it so much <laughs> so anyways um just me rambling for over a minute Let's, we're going to do florals, but you can do whatever the heck you want to do. Um, so I'm going to start with the greenery part, and it obviously would be easier if this was sealed already, but I don't have a card in here, so I'm not going to seal it for no reason. Um, I am going to just zoom in so you get a better close-up or a better visual of what I'm painting. So I'm going to start, I'm going to go downwards because if I try going up, like my paintbrush might get stuck on this flap and then it'll like bulge here. So um, I'll start from the top and I'll have like a, a little green thing coming down like this. And then maybe another one kind of close to it and then I'm going to have one more on this side and this is going to have a flower on it And I get like some people, they put one of those stamps here to kind of, I don't know, make this look nicer, but I don't have one of those pretty stamps. So this is what we're going with. Um, so actually, let's just add a little thing like that. Okay. Okay, maybe one more <laughs> to make it symmetrical. So I'm going to quickly switch brushes here because I want to paint these like plump eucalyptus type leaves and you can grab whatever green works for you. And so the end here is going to have one leaf. And they're all going to be, I kind of wanted these leaves to be, have a rounded end. That's why I switched paintbrushes, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get that. So this part is really like up to you. You can be as creative as you want with this. Don't feel limited by what I'm doing. If this doesn't work for you or speak to you, you don't have to do it. The idea is just that you paint an envelope. Okay, 
so I'm going to do this one as well. Except I want the leaves to be a little bit more rounded. I think I spaced these a little too close together. Sorry I'm not talking very much in this video, but I'm very much enjoying this process. It's something so, so different than like what I usually do, and it's nice to paint something a little bit different than what I usually paint. It's good to change things up. Okay, so I'm going to just turn this one into a flower. I'm going to paint a few flowers on this one, actually. So I'll have one coming out here. It doesn't have to be like anything super detailed or whatnot. Like the idea of this is just to decorate um, like an envelope that would otherwise just be white and plain. I know there isn't as much random rambling in this video. It's my last video for two weeks, actually. Like, not for you guys. You'll you'll be seeing the usual two videos every week, but I'm not going to film new videos um, right now in my time because I'm filming this in December. For the next two weeks because next weekend we next weekend is Christmas that is insane so we're not even gonna be home we're gonna be very busy with family stuff um, so yeah the next time that I'll sit down to paint is two weeks from now and it is going to be quite a nice break because I'm already kind of at a point where I'm ready to have a break. I'm just adding random green lines. <laughs> when in doubt, add random thin lines to foliage. It usually works. So I think that looks pretty darn cool. I don't know about you, but I've got two envelopes. I'm going to do two. I'm going to show you two um, designs, I guess. So that was the first one. Let's see what we can come up with for this second one here. So I'm going to go with like a 
a pink maybe. And I'm gonna use a slightly different green, like a more, something with a more bluish tone, a little bit cooler. So, oh, I'm supposed to start from the top. I don't really like this green, so I'm grabbing a different green, or I'm mixing another green into it. And it's kind of throwing me off starting at the top. I don't really like that. I like starting at the bottom. Oh, that's not too bad. Going over that little bump. I like to start with the stems first because they, it kind of helps me space things out better. So my leaves for this one, I want them to be more like this. So as I paint, like I start off thin and then I press my paintbrush down. Oh, that one didn't really work out. But I press my paintbrush down and then lift up for the tip. Oops. Kind of hard to do with this paintbrush though. It's not working out. And I also want the ends to be a bit darker and thicker. And I'm adding little thorns or quills or whatnot to, to these stems. Oh, sorry. I don't know if that was on camera. Okay, so this one is going to be the one with... The flowers on it. And I think this one will also have flowers. Just like And then this outside one will be another one with just leaves. Okay, right now it's looking a little crowded, but I'm sure once we add the flowers, it'll kind of balance out. So I'm grabbing um, like a magenta color for this part. Pink, magenta, red, whatever works. And I want to have these delicate petals 
I don't know what kind of flowers these are. I'm just making up flowers as we go. I don't really know what type of flowers these are. I'm not really a fan of how they're turning out. I wanted the the petals to be a little bit more rounded and welcoming rather than what they turned out to be. But I do want some a little bit lower here on this. And I'm going to add a little bit more green. I think I'll add some petals to this one so it doesn't look so bare. And possibly some pink to this bottom section. All right, I think that's a little bit better balanced out. So that actually, you know, didn't end up looking too bad. We've got our pink and our yellow options. I think that's such an adorable and unique way to personalize an envelope that you're sending somebody, hopefully someone meaningful in your life and not just like a letter for administrative purposes. But hey, if you want to do that for that purpose, that's okay too. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little slightly different video, change of pace. Let me know what you think. If you'd like to see more of this kind of creative um, tutorial or you just want to stick with the landscapes. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.